What is up guys? I wanted to go ride my bike, right? I got all suited up, everything, closed the garage. I was like, yep, try to turn it on. Dead battery. I haven't ridden it like in two or three weeks. Yeah, because it was raining and it was really cold. I used to turn it on like every other day, but I just forgot. And yeah, so I was just gonna take this time to tell you guys about lowering your bike. So that's one thing. You could lower your bike. You should lower your bike if you're short like me. I'm 5'10". Stock height of this R6 was pretty high for me. I would, both feet would like barely tip, I need to tie my shoe, but barely tippy toe. Now I flat foot, one foot, and then like that, the other foot. So stop signs are more comfortable. I really love it. And um, the only thing is you can't corner as much in the track. But street, you could go as low as you want, whatever, but like cornering just by a little bit like instead of going like that you go like that but you're never going to want to go that sideways so doesn't there's no cons only you do need to get a aftermarket kickstand i didn't get one even though i knew when my bike was down the bike was literally straight like that where one little push would push it over i knew it was going to fall one day i pushed it out of the garage left it here turned it on and I went to open the gate, right? I hear like, eh, turn around. In slow motion, I see Jasmine tip over. Boom, hit it. The vibration's shaking it. Then the sensor kickstand was straight up. Just click back and drop the bike. I didn't have the cage. I had frame sliders. So only damage was like this little scuff there and this clear coat right here. That's it though. I got the kickstand like 45 to 50 bucks eBay. I had it in my watch list, so I knew that was happening. I just didn't buy it. I don't know why. I got lazy or something that I waited and it, it fell, so I learned. So you will have to get aftermarket kickstand. I lowered it two inches. You, that's the lowest the people recommend going before you have to... Um, you know suffer your ride quality so yeah like i said con is only in the track you can't lean as much pro center gravity is lower and so less like less power wheels you could if you still want to you could do a power wheelie but less like accidental whiskey throttle power wheelies and just the stance of it less gap right here between the forks and it's already aggressive looking bike and just look at it it looks nice and you could tell it's lowered if i park next to a stock r6 the other one is pretty freaking tall so you could lower your bike and if i recommend you buy a car from a bike from a dealer this one was used when i bought it so a dealer would do it just tell them like if you're, they're gonna refinance tell them hey can you order the lowering part the, the, the lowering part <coughs> Sorry, I'm really sick. And lower it, and they're like, yeah, it will add like two or three hundred dollars to your, to your finance, to your finance um, bill. I was like, yeah, who cares? My monthly only went up like one or two bucks, but I got uh, and but I got it lowered. And a stop signs, way more comfortable. No cramps when I swing my leg over. No cramps when I'm riding. So I think um, if you're like 5'10 or shorter, you should lower your bike, only two inches, but it helps, it's nice. And for new bikers, so if you're new and you think, oh, this bike's too tall, this bike's too, you could lower it. So don't settle for another bike you don't want if the bike you want is too tall. Lower it, and it, all right, <coughs> you want an R6 as your first bike. I think it is the best 600 for your first bike. Why? The power band is like 10 grand and higher. So as long as you're under the, those revs, you won't risk key throttle, the power is not too too intense. So as long as you got self-control, you could, you could ride R, uh, R6. It was my first bike, I haven't killed myself. I do drive retarded sometimes. You can see in my other videos, sometimes it's just relieving stress, going triple digits, just, it's just, you know, fun, stress relieving. So, let's say you want an R6 as your first bike and you're 5'10 or shorter. Lower it, and I recommend getting this cage. Maybe frame sliders, but this was only 240. 
and it's race rails from Impact Tech. You got like 905 or, and other ones, but Impact Tech's my favorite. Because when you're a beginner, most crashes happen either standing still and you lose the, for you know, like the bike's too heavy, you just suddenly drop it. Or when you're learning, you're going around little certain corners, really slow corners, and the gravel and you low slide. So this will completely protect your bike. Like your bike will still be pristine and it'll look nicer. I like the cage. I think it gives them more aggressive look. <coughs> I was gonna get the cage lime green, but I settled with the same color as the bike. And uh yeah, get a R6 power bands all the way in the top, so you're good. Get the cage, you won't drop it, you won't like cause big damage to it, and you're good. That's a good starter bike. So this this uh, video was just to tell you guys you could lower it. It's not that expensive because a lot of people don't know you can lower it. And uh, when you go to a dealership, like I said, a lot of people don't know this, but if you go to a dealership and you want to get a bike and you have no gear, like I would recommend going somewhere big like Chaparral because they have jackets, helmets, they have everything. I put this at John Burst. They have a little store with a jacket and stuff, which is cool, but not a big variety. So if I recommend getting a new bike, go to Chaparral or something big like that. Tell them to lower it, add it to your price, get a helmet, a jacket, maybe some boots, a GoPro, and a Senna, which is uh, let's see, which is this, which plays music and their speakers in your helmet. So two things a lot of people don't know you can do on your bike is lower it and they say like I don't want to sacrifice music but when you get this you it's Bluetooth to your phone so you can listen to music and uh, there's speakers in your helmet which is better than most car systems like it bumps and it's pretty loud um, hopefully it's charged hold on hello all right I don't know if you guys heard that but it said hello and then just go down. Oh, my phone's about to die. Go to Senna 20S. Yes. It connected. You heard the beep? And I'll put some music on. It bumps pretty loud, you know. But if you have like a straight pipe, no cat, you won't you won't be able to hear it. Let me see a good song. I like the song called Karma. There we go, by Mike and Mick Torres. Let's see if I'm though. I don't know if you guys could hear. This is how I ride. I love music and I just cruise around on my bike. So hopefully you guys could hear it, but I love this song. I'll turn it off just in case copyright laws, you know. <laughs> but yeah, go to a dealership and just add as much stuff you can. Yeah, your monthly will go up by like 20 or 50 bucks depending on like how much shit you get. But get a helmet. Get like don't cheap out on your gear, guys. Please, that's saving your life. A cheap helmet could fuck you up. Get a good helmet. Get a good jacket. Don't get a cheap jacket. Get like one with elbow pads, spine. Like this is mid range because it wasn't cheap, but um, I mean it wasn't the expensive one. But look. You got armor here. Yeah, drop it. And you have like padding here. This is a cheap jacket. This is just like textile, like a little cushion, but no armor. So I recommend this, got like armor padding. And I bought this icon. I like it. It's a vest, looks like a bulletproof vest. Uh, it's leather. I got this when it's uh, hot, cause I don't really want to wear a full jacket when it's hot. I wear a vest. And I like it. You could take the, it's got padding for your spine. That's a good thing. You could take it off if it's too heavy, but yeah. See, don't, don't cheap out on your gear. Yeah, your monthly payments will be two or 50, two, 20 or 50 bucks more, but get yourself a good helmet, good jacket. I recommend always riding with the GoPro. Like not to motor vlog or anything, just record when you're driving and then stop when you stop and then nothing happens, delete the footage. But just in case someone cuts you off, you break and then crash and slide, 
they weren't involved in the fight in the I was gonna say fight in the crash so they could drive off and it won't be a hit and run but they're liable for it so if you have your GoPro you could catch them show your insurance because a lot of times when you ride a bike and, and there's a crash involving you <coughs> sorry it's your fault either they're like oh you're the only car or bike involved you're probably stunting you slammed on the brakes you crashed probably doing a wheelie or something so it's always your fault wear a gopro guys please maybe you could catch some funny stuff and put it on youtube or some crash or you know just help people out like if they see someone crash and run you could probably got the license plate or something always ride with the gopro please and senna if you want to um, ride with music buy senna it's not cheap the GoPro is not cheap either but they make your uh, riding time way more enjoyable so helmet GoPro jackets and boots I haven't bought motorcycle boots I wear high top shoes I like super myself but that's self preference but riding boots cost like 120 I don't think I ride much um, that much enough to get riding boots but yeah, you could get riding shoes. Some riding shoes look dope too. They're like mid tops. They look nicer than some Jordans. And uh, you can get some pants too. Rain gear, gloves. Please get gloves with carbon fiber. Well, <coughs> no, just knuckle protection. Right now, I think they're on my bike. They're somewhere. Oh, they're, this is the ones I have now because they were cheap. They do have some protection, but this is just for close riding. I recommend something like this. It's got carbon fiber. I don't know if you can hear it. And that's not to punch side view mirrors. Even though you can, if someone cuts you off, you're like, why why you have a side view mirror? You don't use it. And then boom, break that shit. But no, it's playing. Don't do that. I'm not liable if you guys do that, right? This is um because when you're on your bike, right? What's the thing up front? Yeah, it's your headlights and it's your hands, because you're like this. So this is all the rock chips because I don't know if you guys know this, but tires on cars throw a lot of gravel and rocks and debris at you. And they're, and your hands are pretty low and they're up in the front. So rocks and everything will just nail your, just straight nail your hands and your knuckles. And I say get something with leather here because um, if you do fall, what do you stop your fall with? Your hand. So you're falling, go, you go like that. Your hand's okay because there's leather. This one I already ripped. But if you don't have gloves and you fall, boom, fucking straight like cheese grade, your whole hand to the bone. So please get gloves, guys. Don't ride without gloves. That's really dangerous and dumb. So just at least get a helmet, gloves, and a jacket as a little starter kit you could get i mean i really guess say get the gopro because you might crash when you're new but the, the santa could wait and you could wear ear you could wear earbuds or whatever you want but the santa really helps because you can answer phone calls and everything but i'm pretty sure your earphones and ear pods could do that already but it's just the quality of the santa is way better guys so i do recommend it but if you can't afford it you don't want to spend the extra buck don't do it because you don't need it but the gopro helmet jacket and gloves you do and lowering it it'll help a lot with comfortability and i say you should do it and the cage if you guys want to to protect your bike so you don't want to break it and make it look ugly on the first week that's basically it guys so if you are going to get a bike just please be careful and i say if you even thinking of getting your bike i say yes the co the community is so good every biker waves if a biker's on the side of the road every biker that pass will stop by like hey bro you need something you need help like everyone every biker loves to help each other which is good and we need more bikers you know the more bike like my family was never really aware of bikers i never really looked double looked in their side view mirrors for bikers but they all told me ever since i got a motorcycle they actually look for them now so you know the more bikers we get the more riders we get out in the street the more use to people will have to looking for us you know so the more bikes the more 
um, time and comfort and comfort the other biker, the other cars, the cagers, they'll look for bikers now. They're like, oh, there's more bikers, so they get start getting used to looking for us, you know. So yeah, get a bike. It's load of fun. Monthly payments ain't even that much for like an R6 or something, 200 to 300 a month. Insurance, full coverage, everything. Uh, un and you're the, under the age of 25, it's only like 60 bucks a month. That's not bad for full coverage and uh, younger than 25. <coughs> Sorry, guys. But yeah, guys, join the bike community. It's fun. Like this video. It helps, you know. Comment, share it. Pass it around. You could lower your bike. So when someone, when, when you tell a friend, like, oh, you want to learn how to ride a bike? Like, nah, I like, I like listening to music when I drive. Like, man, you can listen to music when you ride, too. Get the center. To like, oh, they're too tall. I'm like, no, nah, lower it, man. Customize your bike to how you want it. Make it distinct so you know it's yours. People know it's yours. It's not stock. Like, if you park it next to other stock ones, it'll, like, you don't know which one's yours, you know? So that's it guys, that concludes this video, like and subscribe, you know, leave a comment. If you have any questions about lowering it, or anything, exhaust, how to ride, I'll try to make one of those videos, even though I'm not that good at riding. I've been riding for almost two years, but you can always get better guys, so it's not such thing as the best rider, you know, you always learn, learn, learn from you, from new, you know, even from new people you can learn they do something you're like oh you know that is easier you, i could do that so peace out guys you know if you're a rider take care ride safe if you want to lower your bike i say do it there's really no cons if you want to ride get a bike a lot of fun guys